In this video, you will learn about the basic of permutation, which is permutation of n taken r. A permutation is a mathematical technique that determines the number of possible arrangements in a set when the order of the arrangements matters. The permutation of distinct objects is the number of ordered arrangements of different objects in a row. For permutation of n taken r, the number of permutations of n objects taken r at a time is determined by the formula p or permutation of n taken r is equal to n factorial divided by quantity n minus r factorial, where n is greater than or equal to r. In other words, r here should always be smaller or equal to n. Let's try how to use that formula to solve for permutation of 6 taken 2. Here, our n or the value of n is equal to 6 and the value of r is equal to 2. You'll just substitute 6 and 2 here in our formula n factorial so 6 factorial on the numerator and on the denominator the difference between the two so we have 6 minus 2 factorial and then simplify just copy 6 factorial first and then on the denominator subtract 6 and um, 2 so we have 4 factorial next 6 factorial is just the same as 6 times 5 times 4 up to 1 so if you multiply that we'll have 720 and on the denominator, 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is equal to 24. And then divide. 720 divided by 24 is just 30. Hence, the permutation of 6 taken 2 is equal to 30 ways or 30 arrangements. Here's another way to simplify 6 factorial over 4 factorial and that is just by using the definition of factorials. 6 factorial is 6 times 5 times 4 factorial. We will stop with 4 since our denominator has a value of 4 factorial. With that, we can cancel out 4 factorial or that would be crossed out and hence what is left is 6 times 5. So we have 6 times 5 is equal to 30. And thus, we have the same answer with the previous method or the previous one. This second technique here is pretty useful whenever you have big factorial values. Another example. In a beauty contest, there are 10 semi-finalists from which 3 winners will be chosen. How many ways can the winners be chosen? And again, we will follow the formula of permutation of n taken r, and we will identify the value of n and r. So here, we have 10 for n, and for r, we have 3. Substitute, we have 10 factorial over 10 minus 3 factorial. And then, the same, we'll copy the numerator, 10 factorial, and then subtract of the denominator, 10 minus 3 is 7, and then copy as is, factorial symbol. Then we have 10 factorial is equal to 10 times 9 times 8 up to 1. And that's just equivalent to 3,628,800 divided by 7 factorial, which is 7 times 6 times 5 up to 1. And that is equal to 5,040. Lastly, divide the value or our quotient would be 720. In other words, the number of ways that the winners can be chosen is 720 ways. Let us use the cancellation technique here in simplifying the factorial values. So we have here the denominator of 7 factorial. Hence, we are going to factor 10 factorial up to 7 factorial only. So you have 10 times 9 times 8 times, yes, times 7 factorial over 7 factorial. And there we can cancel out or cross out 7 factorial. Thus our result is 10 times 9 times 8 which is 720. We'll have the same answer for the number of ways the winners can be chosen and that is by 720 ways.